The month of June is the most common time of the year to put down grub control. These are the products that we put down to prevent grubs from infesting our lawns in the fall and the spring. And arguably the most common product that homeowners and yard owners put on their lawns to prevent grubs is Scott's Grub X. And I want to tell you why you may be making an enormous mistake. During the month of June, adult female grubs burrow deep into the ground to lay their eggs. This usually happens somewhere around the 15th of June, mid-June. On average, you can expect baby grub larvae to start emerging from those eggs two weeks later, somewhere around the 1st of July. So in an ideal environment, which is impossible to achieve in real life, every single grub larva would hatch on July 1st and start eating in those first couple days of July. This is when they would be the easiest to kill. So if we apply a product to the surface of our lawn on July 1st, trying to kill off that larva, no matter what the product is, it's not going to do anything until the product gets from the surface of our lawn deep into the soil where the larvae are actually living. Grub X is a granular product. When we spread it on the lawn with our granular spreaders, it goes onto the dirt. Even if there are baby grub larvae living below the soil surface, they're not going to die because of this product until this product is able to push through that upper inch or two of soil to get down to them. It is a death by contact product. When the larvae come in contact to the chlorantranilipril, which is the active ingredient in Grub X, that's when they die. Grubs don't come to the surface. They only live down below it. So the only way to get this product down to the grub larva is to water it in. The problem with chlorantranilipril is that it's not water soluble. Now it doesn't bind to soil particles, so it will eventually move down. But no matter how heavy you water the lawn, you're not really going to be pushing it down into the larva living zone, like where they live is not going to happen very fast. So in the month of June, when most people are going out to their local big box store, buying Scott's Grub X and spreading it on their lawn, it takes a long time for this product to actually get into the root zone of our grass where the grub larvae are living. By the time it actually gets down there, if you're applying this in mid-June, it might not be getting down into the, uh, the kill zone until early August. And heaven forbid you put this down somewhere around July, it's not gonna be getting down into the kill zone until mid to late August. At that point, many of those grubs will have matured to the point where this product won't kill them off. The optimal time of the year to apply Scott's Grub X or any product using chlorantranilipril as its active ingredient is in May, possibly even late April. Even if you apply this early into the egg laying zone, into that larva zone, and it won't degrade enough over time to not work, you can apply this a little bit early, but you can't apply it late. That is literally the biggest mistake that almost everyone who applies this product does. They apply it too late. And I understand the bag says that you can apply this all the way into July, but it's just not the advisable thing to do. You're applying it late in the season. You are wasting your time and your money. I've made that mistake myself on my own lawn, and I even have a video from a couple years ago where I made the mistake in saying that this could be applied all the way to late June, the 1st of July. If you're gonna apply this, apply it at the correct time of year. If it's actually mid to late June and you're considering putting down a grub preventative product, this should not be one of your options. You should be looking into something using imidacloprid, which I don't usually advise, aside from a few sets of circumstances. I don't advise because it's not very good for all of the beneficial insects that live in our lawns and our, and our environments and communities. And you're gonna find imidacloprid in a number of products. I have this lawn grub control from Ike's company. I think you can buy this at Walmart. But it also comes in a very popular product from BioAdvance. It's their BioAdvanced uh, lawn grub control, I think is all it's called. Imidacloprid is water soluble. So once you put it on the lawn and then you water it in, it's literally going to go down into the root zone, into the kill zone with the water very quickly. And it's also going to persist in the lawn. So if you apply it a little bit early, say for instance, early to mid-June, it's still gonna be active and working throughout the month of July when the grub larvae are feasting down below. 
it's actually going to give you one of the best kill rates for existing grubs. And you may actually get some extra benefits in applying this uh, because this will kill off uh, many forms of termites and uh, carpenter ants, kind of those wood eating pests if they're living in the dirt under your lawn. Most people that I advise use this product tend to have very bad infestations of lawn grubs. They've had a significant amount of damage throughout the fall and the spring where they're seeing lots of beetles in the months of May and June. If you've got a very bad problem, you can get it under control quickly with an imidacloprid product before moving into one of the safer products for uh, regular annual use in the lawn. Imidacloprid products are gonna be also helpful if you're getting into the grub control spirit come um, early July. Because they're water soluble, you can get them into the lawn and they'll go to work right away, whereas this won't. Now what I've done for a handful of years now is I use a, uh, natural, a natural grub control where I apply a strain of bacteria, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis. It's a specific strain of bacteria that goes into the soil. It's bacteria, so it kind of moves through the soil itself, although you are going to water it in pretty heavily because it has a very short lifespan in the soil. This larva find the bacteria and they literally eat it and it's toxic to them and them alone. Meaning every other bug, mammal, and person walking through your yard, even if they come in contact with this particular bacteria, it does no harm to them. It's gonna have the least kill rate, the smallest kill rate of all of these three options, and it's gonna have the shortest duration of effectiveness in the lawn. But I've, as I've said on this channel for many years now, healthy lawns have grubs in them. The point is not to eliminate grubs from the, uh, the ecosystem here. The point is to prevent infestations. You should be able to dig down under your lawn and find some grubs. You just don't want an excessive number of them. So when I use this BT, this Bacillus thuringiensis product on the lawn, it's going to kill enough grubs that I'm never gonna have to worry about an infestation, but it's not gonna kill them all, especially because of the window of activity. If I apply this to the lawn, it starts working immediately so long as I water it in. But after about 14 days, about 90% of the product has stopped working. The bacteria kind of dies off, so to speak. So for this product, this is what you're literally only gonna be putting down in the summer, in the early parts of July. I've applied this as late as the 15th to 20th of July. Although if I was to do it in the perfect setting, I'd probably put the entire dose down somewhere around July 10th. I have an entire video about applying grub control products, BT specifically, in July. I invite you to watch that next because that gives you more context as to why I think this is right for the majority of yard owners.